Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about improvements in technology for using conventional source of energy. Okay. So first we will discuss about biomass. So we mentioned earlier that wood has been used as a fuel for a longer period of time. If we can ensure that enough trees are planted, a continuous supply of firewood can be assured. And you also must be aware with the use of cow dung cakes as a fuel. Okay. So given the large livestock population in India, this can also assure us a steady source of fuel. Since these fuels are plant and animal products, the sources of this fuel is said to be biomass. Okay. So what is a biomass fuel? The fuels which are animal and plant products the sources of these fuels the sources of these fuels are coal as biomass bio mass okay so these fuels however do not produce much heat on burning and a lot of smoke is given out when they are burnt therefore they produces lot of smoke and less heat so therefore technological inputs to improve the efficiency of these fuels are necessary so that is why we are discussing here the improvements in the technology for using conventional sources okay so to increase the efficiency of these fuels we need technological inputs so when wood is burned in a limited supply of oxygen water and volatile materials present in it get removed and charcoal is left behind as the residue so charcoal burnt without flames now let me tell you that when when wood is burnt in a limited supply of in a limited supply of oxygen water or volatile materials present in it get converted get removed and charcoal is left behind charcoal is left behind okay as residue and this charcoal charcoal when burns without flames is comparatively smokeless and has a higher heat generation efficiency so 
in this way we can increase the efficiency of a fuel heat generation efficiency so similarly let me first arrange this so student now i am drawing here the biogas plant diagram okay it will somewhat so student here is the diagram of biogas plant okay so cow dung various plant materials like the residue after harvesting the crops vegetable waste and sewage are decomposed in the absence here okay so these are all the leftover materials since the starting material is mainly cow dung it, it is pork popularly known as gobar gas or biogas and it is produced in a plant like biogas plant so this plant has a dome like structure okay so this is a dome like structure of the plant a slurry of cow dung water is made in the mixing of the tank so slurry is made here and it is coming down to the ground near the and where it is fed into the digester and the digester is a sealed chamber in which there is no oxygen so anaerobic microorganisms that do not require oxygen so anaerobic micro organisms that do not require oxygen they do not require oxygen decompose or break decompose or break down complex compounds complex compounds okay of the cow dung slurry so a decomposition reaction is taking place near the digester okay so it takes few days for the decomposition process to be complete and the biogas is stored in the tank above so that this is a gas tank and the gas outlet is here okay so this is the biogas and the biogas is an excellent fuel as it contains 
75% methane okay and it burns without smoke also leaves no residue like ash in wood charcoal in coal burning okay and its heating capacity is high also so that is why we are using technology in the conventional sources of energy to improve the efficiency heating capacity is high so this is all about biomass okay students so in the next lecture we will discuss about wind energy okay which is also improvement in the technology okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on wind energy thank you happy learning